Our next speaker, speaker is Bill McMurray from our title sponsors of the conference, Qualtrics. And seeing as they're a title sponsor, I'll give them a, a one-sentence plug. Uh, they're a global software uh, as a service company used by thousands of companies, including half of the Fortune 100. Um, there's a bunch of guys here who look like a part of a rowing team in the, in the stripy shirts, who I'm sure will be more than happy to talk to you about Qualtrics if you are interested. Okay, so uh, Bill is currently Managing Director of Qualtrics for Australia and New Zealand and uh, based on his LinkedIn profile, has plenty of experience in the tech, se tech sector. Uh, appears to be an Adelaide kid done good. Over to you, Bill. Thank you, thank you. Thanks very much. So delighted to be here today and uh, yesterday we heard a lot of discussion about various different things. But big data, so who's happy about big data? The only people that I can see that are happy about big data are actually the storage vendors because you've got to put that stuff somewhere, right? So we tag this thing here, size doesn't matter. I don't believe it's how big it is that's important, it's how well that you use it that counts. And I've kind of believed that all of my life, it's got me through. So yesterday we had lots of sessions to discuss big data and the general dissatisfaction of just big data. And what we want to talk about today is how we move actually from data to insights, and then from insights into action. So, so what do you do about it? So we talked about big data versus fast data. Okay, so big data, passive, slow, heavy, historical, unwieldy, not really useful in its raw format. Where fast data we see as being real time, actionable, it's what people are thinking right now. So the trick is how do you get that? And today's agenda that we want to talk through with you today is, is three things. Okay, fast data, which is how do you collect it fast, which gives you speed and agility, is how you analyze the data, because if you do that right, it turns data into insights. And then how do you do closed loop, which makes the insights actionable. Okay, so what you want is fast insights that are actionable, not more big data. So why are we in Qualtrics, do we think that we're qualified to talk to you about that? So I'll just spend a second here. Um, you're probably wondering who Qualtrics is and why we took the title sponsor position for this particular show. So that's because, quite frankly, all of you are either potential customers or potential partners in the use of um, our offerings as you go to market as with your solutions to your customers. So by a show of hands, I'd just like to ask, um, who knows Qualtrics here? I mean, other than Peter. Who, else, who, who knows Qualtrics? Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's good. So look, the net of it is, we're the world's leading insight platform. And what makes me say that? Let me just tell you just a little about Qualtrics. A year ago, this company globally had 250 people in it and had about $50 million worth of revenue out of the United States and Utah. Now there's over 550 people in the company and we do greater than $100 million a year. In a year from now, we'll be over 1,000 people globally and we'll do almost $200 million in revenue and we will continue that growth rate. We work with over 6,500 different brands and organisations across the planet today. We work with 99 of the top 100 business schools. We've got 1.8 million users across 75 different countries across the world. Our headquarters is in Provo, Utah in the United States. A year ago they opened Dublin as being the headquarters to go to Europe and they started that with three people. They're already over 50 people, and they plan to be in the next nine months over 100 people. That's how fast the company is expanding. Here in Australia, um, yes, we talk about the fact that I'm running Australia, but the Australia and New Zealand, but the answer is really it's Asia Pacific. We're just focused on Australia for the next sort of nine to 12 months, and then after that, we'll, we'll have improved up the business model here, we'll then take that to the rest of Asia Pack. So we are, six weeks ago, we were three people. Already we've got um, five and we'll have another bunch that will join us before Christmas and then we'll have a bunch again joining in January. So we are ramping up here very quickly. We've got more than 250 customers already that use the technology in Australia and New Zealand alone. Okay? And those customers have been acquired primarily just by phone calls from the United States uh, at midnight their time to talk to people here. So we're now here in Sydney and we're building this out fast. I can tell you that the premises that we're putting in, we're in Darling Park in Sydney. We've gone to uh, 120 Collins Street in Melbourne and I'm looking now for premises in Canberra already. So back to fast data. That's why I think we're qualified. Okay, so back to fast data. In today's era, 
We live in the era of immediacy, in the era of immediacy, and things change fast. Situations and opinions are changing on an overnight basis. So to be successful, customers, organisations need to know your market, your customers, and your employees. And you need to know fast, and you need to know in real time so that you can react. So the question is, how do you do that? It breaks down to three things. It's collect, analyze, and act. So and I'll deal with each of these in a little more detail, but collect is fast and in real time. How do you get information that's important to you today and as it changes? Once you've collected that, how do you turn that data into insights? And then once you've got those insights, you need the closed loop to ensure that it's actionable. Those are the important things. And really the message for you guys is that the technology that allows you to do that is available to help you do it today. So whether you're a customer and you want to be able to do this yourself and have the in-house, as we heard some conversations yesterday about people taking this stuff in-house, whether you've got the skill sets and you want to invest in those skill sets and do that in-house, or whether you are a research organisation that wants to use a platform such as this and take that capability to your customers, either way it works. So yesterday there was lots of discussion on innovation in research and in market research and how do you bring research, uh, innovation in that research market. So, and how do you keep homegrown technologies where organisations have built their own capabilities to try and do this? How do you keep up with all the trends and changes that are happening in the marketplace? You need to decide, I believe, in those instances, whether you want to be specialist in research or whether you want to be a specialist in technology, a software development company. And we're a specialist in software development. That's what we do. And our job is to build this out, keep the platform current with all new changes in technology with platforms and as the market evolves, and have that available for you to use as you need to take that to your market. So I think what the, you know, the innovation in actual research, you guys need to do that side of it. What, we need to, what you need to do is then work with companies like us, partner with us as a tech company, where we can help you get those technology solutions faster, better, cheaper, and we take care of how technology has to change over time to keep up with all the modern trends. Okay? So, just as a comment, I'll say that um, this is all software as a service, by the way. Right? So the important part of that is that there's no platforms that you guys need. All you need is a sign-on. So we take care of everything back end, you simply log in, you do what you need to do, and there's no infrastructure required on your part. So you need to get a platform, I believe, that will support you in the success of your research craft, as opposed to being a technology company. So to collect, analyze, and act properly, you need to have all your data in one place. Okay, so having all your data in one place means you need a platform for all of your various different programs. It needs to be very powerful, but very easy to use. Um, if you, essentially what it needs you to be able to do is to do as much of this yourself, whether you're a customer or whether you're a research firm putting together the data gathering capabilities, you need to have 80% of this capability out of the box. Not the other way around, where you get some capability and you need to spend an enormous amount of money on external consulting organisations or whatever to build out things custom for what you're trying to do. So when you look at all your data in one place, there are various different programs here which are customer insights, and we've talked about these over the last couple of days. You can see there's voice of the customer programs, customer satisfaction surveys, net promoter scores, your web experience feedback, and other unsolicited feedback that can come from Facebook, Twitter, Yelp, etc. Those are all programs for customer insights. Employee insights, you can see them here as well as I can, right? The 360 degrees and so on, all through the exit interviews. And then market insights. So there's the ad testing, concept testing, academic studies, brand awareness, industry benchmarking, all of those sorts of things. And what I want to leave you with here as part of this chart is that the Qualtrics platform allows you to do all of this as a software as a service. Again, no infrastructure, right? If it's not all on one platform, then here's the question. You then have increased risks and costs of multiple data collection platforms, right? So if you look down these things here on the side, it talks about multiple data points across an organisation, means you don't have any integration. There's no centralised location for your results. You're unable to report across the solution data. There's wasted duplicated spend on similar technologies if you've got it siloed across your business. You can't control the research quality. Users who are looking for best practice that you may have in your organisation can, cannot necessarily get access to it. 
and so on and so on. So inconsistent branding, lack of visibility, etc. What it really comes down to is three things. If you've got district, if you've got different disparate platforms, you waste time and money, you risk alienate your customer by over-surveying them potentially, and, and in the instances where you've got um, data being collected by an individual on part of your organization, you can lose sensitive data and insights if they leave your organization. So that's why we believe it needs to be all on one platform. So now if we talk about going back to the three things about, uh, about um, I want to talk about collecting data. Okay, so collect, analyze, and act is what I talked about. So if we talk about collect data, obviously there's solicited feedback and there's unsolicited feedback. So you can see here again, online surveys, web intercepts, website intercepts. And website intercepts can be things like shopping cart abandonment. You know, so that if you have somebody who abandons a cart, you can then have uh, a web intercept jump in and ask them why did they abandon it, did they not find what they want, was the price wrong, whatever that happens to be. So you get that sort of thing. You can also have website feedback if you want to test the market on what a website looks like and you can use heat maps to then tell you whether what they do or don't like about it or where something is on a website that they might expect it to be um, if you want that sort of feedback. And very importantly is mobile and SMS. So when you spend the time creating what your data gathering questionnaire is going to look like, the system needs to automatically be able to adjust to the different type of platform that you're going to represent that on. So you create the questionnaire once and then you deploy it to different platforms. It needs to understand that if, it goes to, if it's going to go onto a mobile device, it needs something completely different. Okay? So these things are all available to you. Unsolicited feedback, you can see what those are as well. Um, so all of this though is collecting the data and that contributes to your big data but it is faster than in real time at least. So now how do you get the insights from the data? So that's through analysis to get it is to analyse the data. So net of this is, is that you can get reporting or role based dashboards on any of these sorts of things here. So you can zoom in, zoom out, analyse trends, integrate with existing systems and it can either come in reports or as I say in role, ba role based dashboards. So that's how you turn data into the insights. But just as, just as importantly as all of this is that what are you going to do about the insights once you've understood them? And that is how do you act? Okay, so turning your insights into action, you need dynamic case management. Okay, so dynamic case management is something that will generate automated loops, it'll close the, sorry, automated alerts, close the loop, drive improvement, um, launch new studies, but importantly in this process what you need to be able to do is make sure that you're capturing those things and you can assign actions to individuals, groups, departments or locations so that that problem that you've just discovered, that insight that you've got can be acted upon and you know it's going to go through a closed loop process to get that done. Okay, And you need to take action when you, to solve issues once you've determined them because not taking action simply disenfranchises your respondents. So we all know winning over an upset customer wins Winning over an upset customer will build additional loyalty or bigger loyalty than you had before. So in summary, what I want to come to here um, is I, the purpose of this presentation here is to ask you to consider Qualtrics as an innovation technology partner for you because we truly have a platform that is very, very powerful and very easy to use for market insights, customer insights and employee insights. And that means, what I mean by that is powerful and easy to use, speed and agility. There's no need for people to be software programmers to use this. If you can use Microsoft Word and a mouse, you can use our product. It's click and point, drag and drop. It's really simple. You don't need engineers to be able to put surveys together for you. You can just do it. And that means you get speed because you can just do what you want. You don't need the consultants to do this thing that takes weeks to come back to you for a response. It has to have all of its insights in one place for you, and that, as I said, gets displayed in reports or dashboards that you can modify. If you're not happy with the way the dashboard is, you can make those changes. Okay? Not having to pay some consulting organisation to do all of that for you. Okay? And again, the reason this is important for everybody here, I think, is that if you're a customer and you want to have this in-house by yourself, you can do that. And then you can get, market, you can get research organisations to provide the the intelligence around how you do that as a program within your organisation. Alternatively, if you're a research organisation and you want to take that to your customers, we're just as happy to work with you in that fashion where you can do these things on behalf of the, of the customer and customers and we'd be more than happy to work with you in either of those fashions. So finally, it also needs to close that loop so that it's actionable. So that ensures that your efforts become results for your customers. So net-net, you don't need big data, you need fast, actionable insights. And the final takeaway that I'd like you to think about is 
If it's known, you should Google it. If it's not known, you should call Trixus. Okay, so we'd like you to come and see us at your booth if that's of any, at our booth if that's of any interest to you. Thank you very much for your time today.